the night's dark places. It comes from those of the twisted side. Moon saw them lurking in her shadows. She got angry. She wants back her night. She's gonna get back. She's gonna get back. Get back. She's gonna get back. Get back. beside me she and me of our moonlight and dark side black moon sent us down there's a debt to be paid night has been stolen moon wants it back do you feel the cold creeping over your shoulder just when you went to do somebody wrong now you feel the pain of what you can't understand get out of the night you've had it too long get back, get back. she's gonna get back. get back she's gonna get back get back, get back. The Montreal Massacre occurred exactly a year ago, uh, Thursday, which was December 6th. Um, the massacre was December 6th, 1989. A man whose name, well, I don't think I necessarily want to publicize him, but a man walked into the University of Montreal uh, School of Engineering and its semi-automatic machine gun rifle separated the male engineering students and the female engineering students and then proceeded to um, shoot the women for being, quote, feminists because they, because they had the audacity to want to be engineers. And um, his response to them was, um, I want the women, you're nothing but a bunch of fucking feminists, and why should women be engineers? Uh, unfortunately, uh, although this is one of the most dramatic incidences of that type of um, woman-hating, uh, misogyny, uh, male supremacy, etc., it's not an isolated incident. Uh, there are countless um, other instances, all the way from uh, spousal abuse, uh, battered women, uh, serial murders, etc. So it wasn't just the crazed act of one lone person. It was uh, a more uh, outrageous example of the kinds of things that occur against women on an ongoing basis. And what about, I would like to know, uh, this incident in, in your life, I mean, what what kind of things does it bring up? Did you, how do you feel attacked in ways that are kind of connected? I mean, I know personally for me, since I'm not being interviewed, but anyway, personally for me, um, it reminds me of all the times I've sort of been subtly or overtly attacked. What, what about you? Well, um, I'm very sensitive to the just overall inequality in uh, the treatment of women versus men in almost every society on the face of this universe, um, all the way from women earning 40 I mean, 60 cents on the male dollar uh, to what happens to women in our legal system, to um, the threat to reproductive rights at present, to the impoverishment of women at the time of divorce, to lack of um, adequate protection for women and their children from abusive uh, spouses or husbands or partners. Um, what do you think about the current state of the women's movement? Oh boy, that's a biggie. Um, I, I think that's too broad a topic, uh, the, the, because the women's movement is so broad a topic. Um, uh, the, there are, you know, aspects of the women's movement that, you know, are very different in different, you know, corners um, of the women's movement. I'm really glad it's there. I'm a little bit more despairing that uh, the next generation, the generation younger than mine, um, somehow or other not as militant about um, their rights as women as, you know, uh, Many of the women in my generation were, so um, that part really does distress me. Pretty great. Lorelai. Lorelai. Christine. Squishy. Susan. So, and, and also Lily Brain. Hi. Uh, so, what I'm really asking people is, in, as far as women's issues and taking back the night, what's the issue that means most to you? Is it violence against women in the streets? Is it... Uh, what else is it? <laughs> is it the, are you thinking about the women in Montreal? Um, 
what what's the what's the issue women and aids not being uh, that issue not being addressed, what's the issue that, or in your personal lives perhaps, what uh, issues about women taking back the night or like somebody who's a, one that's personally important? Well, I know for me and for a lot of us how we got here together is we're all, can I identify us as that? We're all sex oh, workers. Oh yes, yes, me again. Are you? <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> this was all, that was profoundly erudite, thank you. Um, Anyway, we're all sex workers, and we came down here. Um, hopefully it won't be to counter-protest, but if it comes to that, I guess that's what it'll be. But um, we don't believe that violence against women is perpetuated through pornography, and that censorship in the name of protecting women isn't actually protection at all. In fact, it's when it's done in the guise of protecting women against violent sexual imagery, um, a lot gets cut out, including women's sexual voices. There's a groundswell of... Uh, female produced and feminist produced pornography these days that's also getting silenced by censorship and we came down here to say that uh, we're sex positive sex workers and that we do it we're not coerced into it and it's a fun if only part-time living for us and um, that we're not manipulated or twisted by some misogynist culture although we do live in a misogynist culture to be sex workers and for us it's a positive experience Everybody says, yeah? yeah. Well, I'm a big prostitute. I've been a prostitute in this city for 15 years, so. For power, right? Yeah! Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm very happy today. Okay, Sally, you're perpetuating violence against women by appearing topless in Golden Gate Park. Well, you know, we, we know that. Hi. <laughs> so, and Bobby, I think this is too good. So, um. Well, I, a lot of women are saying they came here today kind of nervous that Take Back the Night, which has a history of, say, not doing outreach to prostitutes, right? There's a sort of a history there, so people have come kind of wondering, and I don't know, I, I was invited specially, so, um, so I'm happy, so. Uh, and I'm a prostitute, right? Prostitute, I get paid for sex. Okay. What about some other uh, sex workers here? That's what I want to say. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, That I think it when you say something's degrading towards women, it puts women in like in a really weak position. I don't think that you can. There's no possible way to degrade women. You can't. You have to allow yourself to be degraded. And so I don't believe that. You know, being naked in front of people is degrading to women, or is anything. You can do whatever you want. You, you need to allow yourself to be degraded in order to be degraded. You know, I feel degraded constantly in this culture. I'm feeling very degraded. You know, being really a big woman, and I'm 40, I'm gonna be 40 like next month. I just feel like, you know, it's like life is one big degradation. So the prostitution sometimes, for me, it's expressed aspects of that. But, you know, at the other hand, we all get power from it. And Anybody else wanna talk about like sex work and? Say that it's like working in the sex industry has given me like a new perspective on my body and my sexuality that's been really positive and good. and. And um, meeting all these wonderful, intelligent women in the industry has really changed my attitude about um, pornography and the sex industry itself. And so what about taking back the night? Do you feel like we're ever going to be able to take back the night? Yeah, I think so. I think there's a lot of really great women that are working towards something like that. I do. I've been dancing for almost almost two years now, and I've like, it's one of the best things I've ever done. I feel it's really been good for me. It's been great for me to... Um, express myself in that way. You know, prostitution's actually really been good for me, but now it's getting, like, not good. It's getting, like, one of those things that, you know, I want to have a different job or something. But I still love being a prostitute. It's just maybe doing it less. It's hard in some way, I find. I don't know. What's, what's the hardest thing? The hardest thing about dancing? Or about, like, the getting along with people and having to tell people or anything. The hardest thing about the whole shtick. The hardest thing about for the whole shtick for me is when people are saying to me, you know, that that's degrading to women, or, you know, my mother said that to me when I first started, and I was like, I was really torn about it. I was like, oh, well, yeah, well, feminists do say that's degrading, is it degrading to women, is it not degrading to women? No, I, I you know, I have no problems, with it. I don't think that it's degrading to women at all. I don't, like I said, I don't think it's possible to degrade women. For those men who have come, we don't really want to have a fight with you about it. We've been having fights all week about it. We just want you to understand that we want to march alone tonight. Other nights, we want to be safe, and we will take that into our control. For men who have come, if you really want to support us, you can go home, you can do childcare, 
You can talk to some of your men friends about date rape or about sexism, about what you've gained from the patriarchy over the years. You can be creative to figure out what you want to do to stop violence against women, but this is a women's only march. I don't know how many people realize that Take Back the Night started in San Francisco in 1978 when 5,000 women marched through the streets. And that was a big deal for them. It's always a big deal, and it should be. And they wanted to show their strength and that they wouldn't be intimidated by the night or by the day or any, any part of their lives. 1978, we might remember, was the, were the years of Jimmy Carter, and we know Jimmy Carter was so concerned about human rights. <clears throat> well, Jimmy Carter never cared about the human rights of women, and no government in the United States has ever cared about the human rights of women. That's why we're here to demand our rights, our liberation as women, because it's not going to come from the government. It's going to come from us being out on the streets. We know after 12 years since the first Take Back the Night march, violence against women has skyrocketed. Racist violence has soared across the country from Bensonhurst to Portland, Oregon, Oregon to right here in San Leandro. And we also know that lesbian bashing seems to be an everyday occurrence. That's true a block away from here at night break, it's true at Club Q, and it's, it's true right in the Castro at Cafe San Marcos, and we will not let this happen anymore. So tonight we're here, we're going to take back the night, we're going to take back the day, and we're going to take back our lives. They bow down to laws that protect private property While women aren't safe in the home or the factory The hallways of justice are solemn and sacred But before the law only women stand naked Take to the streets, lift up your voice Fight for your life while we still have a choice There's no turning back, now is the time This is nobody's body but mine this is nobody's body but mine. Tell them nobody's body but mine. This is nobody's body but mine. The manners and banners are often expedient. Most civil act is to be disobedient. Just like in South Africa or in Mississippi, a jail and the law can lock up our bodies. Take to the streets, lift up your voice. Fight for your life while you still have a choice. There's no turning back. Now is the time. This is nobody's body but mine. This is nobody's body but mine. Tell them nobody's body but mine. This is nobody's body but mine. Take to the streets. Lift up your voice. Fight for your life while you still have a choice. There's no turning back. Now is the time, this is nobody's body but mine Tell them nobody's body but mine This is nobody's body but mine Tell them nobody's body but mine Thank you the song is written by uh, Saikon Five o'clock in the evening, heading for home. Pulling up to a red light, got the news on the radio. A woman on the corner, looking tattered and beat. Catches me cold as I wonder when they'll clean up these streets. She said, girl, you don't know how lucky you are. You got food on your table and a cute foreign car. You got a roof you for your head and a job place to sleep. Better wipe that sorry look up all your face. In the week of an eye, girl, you could be. I never did believe that it would happen to me. I would be swept away and tossed in a pile of the country to see. Oh, look in my eyes, if you want to say. Think about this, Helen, as you're doing that.
Um, I totally agree with these women. I really I totally agree with these women. I hate violent pornography. I just hate what it does to women. And uh, I know it's a big debate in San Francisco, but as far as I'm concerned, this stuff is hate literature. You know? What do you think we should do with it? Uh, I think we should expose it wherever we can, you know, like they're doing right here. I think this is a great way to think about the women that pose for these things. I think they're traitors to their sex. That's what I think, you know. I think it's too bad. In the wink of an eye, girl, you could be me. No. The soul and the spirit don't matter a bit. If your body's a joke or a centerfold squeeze, a spatula, a black hole, or an ass and two tits, a target for torture, a torso for scars, an evil temptation devil sent from Mars. The soul and the spirit don't matter a bit. The soul and the spirit don't matter a bit. But this is my line and I'm drawing it on the sand. This is my flag and I'm flying it overland. Listen up to my female live proclamation. Listen up to my solitary work time declaration. If you mess with me, I'm gonna bother you. If you beat me up, I'm gonna leave you black and blue. If you bother me, I'm gonna show enough bother you. If you beat me up, I'm gonna leave you black and blue. I want the mountains, the prairies, dawn to afternoon. I want the cities, the countries from December to June. I want all of the evenings and the daytime and no apology. I mean, 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 mean to be free. I mean, 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 mean to be free. I'm not a bitch, not an itch, and I'm not about to switch. I'm a woman out here, and I'm taking back the night. I'm a woman, yeah, and I'm taking back the night. I'm a woman, yeah, and I'm taking back the night. <laughs> We're here tonight fighting back against a horror of war that seems ever closer to us and the domination of women all over the world. One year ago, a man shouting, you're all fucking feminist, shot and killed 14 young women at the University of Montreal's engineering school while wounding 13 other people, nine of them women. This massacre was not an isolated incident of terrorism. It harms women. 
It promotes femicide. that feminists have not dealt with very well and until we resolve the issue find a way to deal with sexuality and sexual imagery we're going to end up stymied and at a dead end i think it was a mistake for feminist movement to take on an anti-pornographic slant what we need to do is reform or transform those images not try to eliminate them from society we need sexuality we need an honesty about sexuality and that's what's missing we're too hypocritical about what we want what we need and what we do and the images so often are only a reflection of that as we change so will the images really good. It looks like I need some plates, man. To walk out on it sucks. So that's it. We're gonna take it down. Are you with me? Oh yeah, I'm with your sister. You think we're going to have less rape and less violence against women in the future? <laughs> what do you think? I mean, just guess. What do you think? No, no you say no? No, no less. What do you think? Does anybody think there will be less violence against women and rape in the future? Do you believe there's a chance? 
Yeah, if we make ourselves more visible. Sure. You need more men involved. Yeah. Well, I thought men weren't invited. Uh, They're I'm not, not invited. Sure. No, well, that's, that's they weren't invited. No, I think it was very important for us all to be here alone tonight because you don't need men to protect us, and if we are all together, then we right. can make it. So who thinks there's like a small chance, though, that really there could be less violence? Do you think they could, that we're evolving towards a more humane consciousness on this planet? <laughs> I'm hoping so. I think things are really, they come up and down, and we're working for it. We've all just got to remember that you can't stop trying to make it happen. plenty of women in the media. You're getting paid for this stuff. Work night and work. They make the men go out and work at night. Do you, do you feel unwanted? A little bit. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Uh huh. Well, go home. Less rape, less violence against women. Men go home. Men go home. Do you think there'll be, we'll ever have maybe less violence against women, less rape? I think if women come out in demonstrations like this and come together and unite, yes, there will be less violence. If you don't want us here, we'll leave. No, if you, if you could just follow her to the edge of the crowd, and then we can keep going. We did. I would think the crowd, they still don't want me here. I know. Because this is going to be the end of your filming. No, we'll leave. We're on the leash. Okay, then. that people talked about tonight was built by men. She, hit you? she literally came up and pushed me and said I was a, 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 I was taunting her tonight with my sign that violence isn't a gender issue. It, it is very embarrassing how they're acting. I mean, I don't know, it's like it, it makes me want to cry and scream all at the same time. It's so ridiculous and it's so I'm horrified that all these women come together like this and turn against men. It's like they defeat the purpose that they're here for completely. But this anti-male trip is fucking bullshit. It should be anti-sexist male, not anti-male, period. There are plenty of gay men and plenty of straight men, quite frankly, who are quite supportive, if not feminists themselves, of what we're trying to do. And also this erotomisogynistic speech or whatever ruins women or whatever it is. What defines erotic misogyny, I'd like to know. If you find male-produced pornography so offensive, go produce your own. That's what I did, and it's not that fucking hard. It really offends me, really, really badly, to the point where I'm losing my glasses. Anyway, um, feminist for erotica, that's great, and... Yeah, well, I mean, I agree with that sign because I think women's sexuality has been kept down for a too long of a time, and um, we need to claim our own erotic power and women loving women and our own orgasms and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? That good stuff because it's not bad, and we don't have to internalize that oppression. I said, I think it's great that your tits are showing that turns me the fuck on, okay? <laughs> Turn again, turn again, turn again the stories that have rendered us invisible in history's pale glory. Gaia, oh Gaia, mother of the living, hear 
heal our bodies and our souls. Grant us new beginnings.